Sometimes when it comes to this hobby, it can be super confusing with all the different brands, all the different makes and models. Let's not wait any longer and let's get going on the Versus video. And also let me know throughout the video, how many Power Ranger pictures do you see in my diorama? Let me know down in the comment section below. These are gonna be two Honda S2000s. The trims are gonna be a little bit different. Hobby Japan, AP2, Grand Prix White. This is actually gonna be the Type S version, which I believe only exists in Japan from 08 to 09. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong in the comments for that. And then for Mini GT, what we have is the Honda S2000 CR variant, which stands for Club Racer. These are limited to about 1,400 cars worldwide. I'm talking about the real 1-1 car, just some background for you. Released in 2008 for the US market. We've got this in Rio Yellow Pearl with black interior right there, as you can see, just like in real life. Uh, this one is AP2 as well, and it's actually a left-hand drive. So not a right-hand drive variant from Mini GT, like the Hobby Japan version. These are both going to be die-cast metal. These are both going to be true 64 scale, so very good comparisons there. And before we rip these out and look at them up close, Mini GT telling us that these are limited to 3,000 pieces worldwide. Hobby Japan, also a limited model. However, they don't list how many there are. And this can typically range from the 2,000 to 3,000 pieces range. But much like all other collectible cars, once they're gone, they're gone, discontinued. And that's that. So Hobby Japan, typically I cut it here on the side, cut it here on the side, while open this wide open here, reach in there, grab the die cast like so. And then here's that box I was just showing you guys. So a little bit about the display since we're here. This is just a little slip box where you can put the Mini GT inside of. So it actually comes like this. This, so you can put the car in there so and then put it inside like that close that bad boy up so that's how you store it with the mini GT versions hobby Japan version you're gonna get this acrylic case super professional of course uh, there's the acrylic case and the base and then that's got some accessories in there which I'll show you guys in a minute so check it out guys both in hand looking pretty nice for what they're trying to represent looking at the front here in comparison you can definitely see that the mini GT and the Hobby Japan both have the AP2 front bumpers. You can see a little bit of the arrow here for the front bumper. You've got logos, you've got plastic inserts for headlights. You can see that the Hobby Japan definitely has a more refined headlight uh, display as opposed to the Mini GT version, both black housing as well. Uh, front bumpers look exactly the same. However, the front bumper for the Hobby Japan does stick out a little bit more, a little bit more refined, and it's got a little bit more of a bulge to it uh, on the sides here as opposed to the Mini GT version. You can see the uh, outline for the hood lines here. It's got the washer nozzles there. Front windshield looking good. And then moving on to the side of the S2000s. I love the side view on both of these. Both are rocking S2000 logos here. The yellow one, of course, is gonna have the S2000 CR logo. Both have side markers. Both have the AP2 wheel setups from Honda. One difference here, guys, you see the side view mirror here, side view mirror there. Side view mirror on Mini GT are going to be rubber so going to be not be so susceptible to breaking off however on the hobby japan it is going to be a metal one that is put on there you've got door handles door lines a little bit of the side here side skirts fuel doors are both evident one thing i would say about the paint scheme is that on the mini gt it looks to be layered a bit thick whereas on the hobby japan it looks like they laid just the right amount and the paint doesn't look too thick it doesn't look too thin and vice versa love the red interior seats here rio yellow pearl rocking the black interior seats and one thing that you'll notice about the mini gt is that it does have a little bit of a lowered stance uh, as you can see right here the ap2 factory height a little bit of a four by four thing going on there as you can see you can see the wheel gap in itself already so as far as the sides goes looks pretty good absolutely love it and then moving on to the rear let's take a look at these tail lights look good plastic inserts colored tail lights it's got the third brake light here both painted over it's got the spoiler on both 
look exactly the same actually. You've also got exhaust here. Love that the Hobby Japan looks like the exhausts are a little bit bigger. Got the little toe cover here on the Mini GT, not rocking that. Type S logo, Honda emblem, keyhole, Honda emblem, CR logo, keyhole. So everything is good there. Yeah, definitely uh, different exhaust sizes uh, as you can see here. Both gonna have metal bases, a little bit of the detail on the bottom side. And something else that you can see from here are both rocking the rubber tires. And then passenger or driver's side, depending on which one you go with, the JDM or the USDM, pretty much exactly like the other side. So nothing too crazy going on there. And then if you go back from the top, you can see some of the details for the antenna here, both rocking that. You can see it's got the cover here for the convertible top and then interior details. Absolutely, definitely the Hobby Japan, more detail. You can see the silver center console cover. You can see the red seat. You can see the Honda emblem on the steering wheel. Mini GT, not gonna have any of those details, just a full, completely black interior. And then right here on the windshield, you can see both have these sun visors. And then let's do our roll test and see which ones roll. And it looks like Hobby Japan set up and ready. Mini GT set up and ready. And you guys might know the answer for Mini GT. Here we go, boom, rolling, no problem. Hobby Japan, here we go. Hey, rolling too, look at that. Now, Mini GT out of the box, gonna come just like this. No extras, nothing like that. Hobby Japan does come with some goodies and let me show you guys that right now. Boom. Bro. Hobby Japan coming out with some more accessories to be able to further detail out their car. Removable hard top and a hard top cover. So check that out. Look at that. Hard top installed. Okay. That in and you're good to go. Look at that. Perfect. Fantastic. Love it. Hobby Japan definitely pulling out some stunts on this one and definitely the reason why the price differences are going to exist between the two brands. Question of the day for you guys. What did you think about these two brands? What differences did I miss? And do you personally own any of these now? And which one is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. Don't forget to let me know how many Power Rangers you saw. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like so other collectors can see it just like yourself. And in the next slide, I have more versus videos that you can see with other competing brands. I will see you guys in those videos or my next video.